Okay, hi. So last year at the University of NTNU, I was given a topic for my master thesis. The topic in question was just one word, and the word was DevSecOps. At the time, I did not really know what DevSecOps means, but I did know it had the word security in it, so I thought uh, that's something I'm interested in, and I should give this a go. Despite being unclear on definitions, I did have a rough plan. So step one was to find out what DevSecOps means. Step two was unknown. And step three was to successfully hand in my work. And uh, here are some of my findings. I did uh, find them by interviewing developers and operations all around Norway. And I asked them about their DevOps and security practices. Here is what I found out. First of all, in academia and some uh, spaces, there is this idea that DevOps and security don't match. And this is because DevOps is about quick deployment, while security is traditionally about slowing down for testing. However, this is not the case. DevOps and security are actually friends, not enemies. And uh, this is because the organizations that had the best DevOps practices, they also had the best practices around security. So there might be no need to expand the word DevOps into DevSecOps or DevSec TestOps and so on. Because uh, those that maybe struggled with deployment, they were also kind of struggling with security. Initially, I asked people more technically oriented questions, such as what kind of tools do you use to automate security testing? And the reason I did this was that I was hoping they were going to tell me that the tools they use are not so good so that I could make some kind of super tool that would solve all their problems and like hand in my thesis. However, what I found was that um, people did not actually want to talk about tools. Instead, uh, developers, without being encouraged to do so, started talking to me about the frustrations they had with security teams. So they were saying stuff like that the security team spreads propaganda or that the things they suggest are just for show. And they were even kind of vulnerable and talked about how security teams criticize their code that they spend so much time working on and building up. So my finding number two, apart from DevOps and security being friends, is that there is this gap in some organizations between developers and security. And uh, this makes sense. Like Even in school, when I studied computer science, there was no real track for security. Security was kind of outside of what we did, and uh, we only focused on development and making things quick. So what do you do about this? Sometimes security people, they try to play on fear to motivate others to care about security. So they talk about hackings and fines you can get for data breaches and other type of uh, horror stories. But my finding number three is that fear is not so effective in motivating developers to care about security. We even interviewed an organization that suffered an actual huge data breach. They were fined, and it was very traumatic for the people involved. And even after this data breach, even after they experienced what can happen, the culture in the company did not actually change. The developer told me that their boss stopped caring, and uh, they never figured out what happened. So even when you feel a data breach, and other type of fearful experiences, it might not be enough. Also, uh, developers told me about if they don't want to use security tools, they maybe find some ways to like switch them off or go around the system. So it's not necessarily even enough to just implement a lot of tools. The key finding is this. In order to enable secure development, it is important that developers have some intrinsic motivation to care about security that goes beyond fear. Only then does security training and security tools become effective, not before. 
After all, developers are people, and how people truly feel about something can break or make anything. <laughs> Thank you.